Welcome to Montreal. We're here, we're at the Fairmont Queen Elizabeth, and we're going for a tour of the presidential Royal Ville Marie suite. Now it is early April in Montreal and it's still snowing, so let's go inside. As part of this visit to the Fairmont Queen Elizabeth, Montreal, we'll be touring the three top tier suites at the property, starting with the $3,000 a night John Lennon and Yoko Ono suite. Alright guys, welcome to the third most expensive suite here at the Fairmont Queen Elizabeth, Montreal. This one's called the John Lennon and Yoko Ono suite, and it's specifically designed in tribute to John Lennon and Yoko Ono's stay here when they conducted the bed-in protest in 1969. We've got a king-size bed here as part of the master bedroom, and this is exactly where John and Yoko staged their bed-in protest all those years ago. This room is also where the song Give Peace a Chance was recorded, and so there's a guitar here as part of the decorations. Then over here we've got a VR headset. I don't really know what this is all about. Maybe it gives you John and Yoko's perspective from back in the day. There's a cool mix of mid-century modern and older style furniture here in the room. You've got the marble table, Nice couch over here. And over there, there's a rotary telephone that's a tribute back to the old days. I'm loving the museum vibes here in the suite. There's this beautiful piece of artwork from the Fairmont collection. Right around here, there's the dining table. And it's adorned with all these photos of John Lennon and Yoko Ono from back when they stayed here. What I loved most about the John Lennon and Yoko Ono suite were all the artistic yet functional details in the room, such as the words give peace a chance inscribed in the walls or the brown leather bound handles on the drawers. Now over here down this hallway, you have the second bedroom here in the John Lennon and Yoko Ono suite. And this is actually the only suite type out of the top three suite types here at the Fairmont that has two bedrooms. So if you're looking to ball out on your next day in Montreal and you're looking to share the suite with another set of occupants, then maybe consider booking this one. I'm loving the geometric light up here. It looks like a super comfortable king size bed. And then coming into the master bathroom over here, you've got the freestanding soaking tub. You've got a separate shower on that side. And then of course, double sinks with Lalabo toiletries. We're on our way to the 20th floor where now we're gonna check out the $3,500 a night mile end suite. Hello guys, welcome to the Mile End Suite, which is where I'm staying tonight. Entering through this short little entryway, we come over here to the main part of the suite. Incredibly sized, there's a living area and a separate dining table. Let's go check out that part. Before we get there, here's the pantry and mini bar. Got this super advanced Nespresso machine over here, which is awesome, and then the mini bar down here. Looks like we've been treated to a nice little charcuterie plate as the welcome amenity here at the Fairmont Queen Elizabeth. I'm really loving this solid wood table over here as well as some of these chairs. Really nice upholstery on this. I'm loving some of the shapes up here as well with the chandelier and the decoration here on the table. And this artwork on this wall with Montreal staircases is some of my favorites. Now this part is probably the highlight of the living space, this huge L-shaped couch that can probably fit two, three, four people if they wanted to lie down and sleep on the couch. I'm looking forward to hosting some of our team members here tomorrow to have a little bit of the meeting of the minds. Now let's give this chair a try to see how comfortable it is. It swivels nicely. It's a little bit hard on the back, but I think overall it's comfortable enough. Now the master bedroom of the Mile End Suite is accessible through this short hallway from the foyer, and it's got this deep blue decor theme that I really enjoy. Now over here, there's the king size bed and then following me through, it's the master bathroom with a freestanding soaking tub, double sinks and an individual shower unit. And of course, this being a Fairmont property, all the toiletries were supplied by the highly regarded luxury brand Lolabo. So we've checked out the $3,000 John Lennon and Yoko Ono suite and the $3,500 Mile End suite. And now it's finally time to go and visit the $5,200 Presidential Royal Ville Marie Suite. Just take a look around. What more is there to say? At 2,500 square feet, the Royal Ville Marie Suite is very much the crown jewel of the property. Composed of a formal dining room, kitchen, living room, library, master bedroom, and ensuite bathroom. So if you're hosting guests here in the presidential suite, which you probably will be, then this is kind of the place where you'll first be gathering as you enter, have a few drinks, before moving on to the living space. 
Going up this half level then leads you to the living space where you've got a few chairs with a coffee table in the middle, this L-shaped sectional couch, and my favorite part of the presidential suite, this beautiful skylight. Yeah, this is pretty comfortable. You can see Montreal skyline in front of your eyes. I can just imagine coming back, going to the bar, fixing up a gin and tonic, and sitting here and chilling out for a bit. Next, we've got the office and library space. It's super unique, super private. Can't wait to show you. Check out the details and decor in this space. I can just tell it's gonna be an absolute pleasure to work from here. And the rest of the office has these four comfortable leather chairs, just in case you need to host a few business meetings while you're here. Next, we've got the dining room for the suite, and that comes through the foyer here, and you'll find this huge dining table that can accommodate up to 10 people. And here's my second favorite part of the entire presidential suite, the secret kitchen. If you come through here, you'll see there's an area to prepare food that's actually hidden behind the walls of the dining table. And finally, let me show you the master bedroom to this presidential suite. It's through this set of doors right here. Stepping into the master bedroom, you'll see this beautiful black leather couch with a king size bed behind it. We've got the luxurious king size bed right here. And considering that this is the only bedroom in the presidential suite, we are blessed with this beautiful view of the Mary Queen of the World Cathedral out here, as well as René Levesque Boulevard. And of course, for the presidential suite, the master bathroom is something you don't want to miss. There's two walkways leading to the bathroom intersecting at this walk-in closet and culminating in this beautiful freestanding oversized tub and this luxurious set of marble double sinks. It really is an incredible space here at the presidential Royal Ville Marie suite at the Fairmont Queen Elizabeth Montreal. Now we've checked out three top tier suites at the hotel today. And if you'd like to learn how to get upgrades to suites like these when you travel the world, then make sure to watch this video on screen right now where I explain the best ways to ask for upgrades to suites when you stay at a hotel.